In the dappled sunlight of a warm, peaceful jungle, there lived a young snake named Sami. Sami was long, green, and always wondered about the world around him. One humid morning, as birds called overhead and the leaves rustled in a soft breeze, Sami slid out from his cosy home beneath a wide banana leaf. Sami had a question on his mind. Why are so many animals, and even humans, afraid of snakes? I know I'm not dangerous, but maybe they don't know that. Eager to learn more, Sami decided to ask the wisest creatures in the forest about his kind. His first stop was an ancient tree where old Hoot the wise owl perched silently, his golden eyes unblinking. Mr. Owl, can you tell me why everyone is so scared when they see me? The old owl swiveled his head down. Sammy, some snakes are venomous and can give a bite that's more than a little nip. But many, like you, are harmless. Fear often comes from not understanding. Most snakes only bite to protect themselves, never just for fun. Sammy listened carefully, feeling a little lighter. Carrying these new thoughts, Sammy continued on until he came upon Ella the elephant, cooling herself at the muddy riverbank. Ella, can you tell me something special about being a snake? Snakes are different from most animals, Sammy. You don't have legs or eyelids. And your amazing forked tongue helps you smell and explore the air. That's your secret superpower. Sammy grinned, flicking his tongue out to test the breeze. He never realized he had such an interesting way of seeing the world. As evening approached and the sky colored itself golden, Sammy made his final stop by a sunny rock where Lizzie the lizard basked. Lizzie, is there something good about having snakes around? Snakes like you are forest helpers. You eat rats and insects that can sometimes harm plants and crops. Without snakes, the forest wouldn't be balanced. Sammy felt a new sense of pride as he turned toward home. He wasn't scary. He was important. Now, as the jungle settled into night, Sammy smiled to himself. He had no arms or legs, no ears or eyelids, but he had his own special way to belong. I may slither quietly, but I help the forest just as much as anyone else. And with that, Sammy curled up under his favorite banana tree, feeling proud to be himself, a remarkable snake with a gentle heart.